Hello friends. Today we want to teach you about casting simulation in Procast environment. First, we design a piece in the SolidWorks and save it in our system. I would like to tell you one thing that the format you save must be Parasolid, because we have the least error in Procast software with this format. Well, we enter the project environment, now we want to start simulating. In general, we will divide the simulation into three main parts and I will upload it to you in three videos. Thank you for liking me and following my channel, and also press the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Well, let's go to the software. First of all, open the software, go to the application header and go to the mesh section. After this, open the file and open the part you saved. Now we have three headers in this section. First, we open the Geometry tab, when it opens, we click the Repair option to see if there is a problem with the geometry of the part. The problems that may exist in this section are the overlap between the sides of the design sample. We will check the option to see if there are any problems. Another thing I want to tell you is that if you find a problem or an error in your sample, correct it in the solid software and enter the project again. After this step, go to the Geometry tab again and select the Basic Shape option and mount your mold on the part. Now, since your part is going to be cast, only the small opening should be attached to the mold and the rest will be separated from the part in this way. Now enter the Geometry section again and select the Assembly option to assemble the part and the mold together. The next step is Two-Dimensional Meshing. Enter the Two-Dimensional Mesh tab and select the Surface Mesh option. Here, because we want to simulate the part, the meshing in the part itself must be smaller, because we need more accurate calculations for the part itself. But we do the mold with a larger meshing as below, because our computer cannot do more calculations. Now, in order to make sure that our surface mesh is done correctly, we have to click the Check Mesh option. If there is no error, we can go to the next step, but if there is an error, we can use the Automatic Correction option. Now we want to do 3D meshing, we use this option and select the sample and hit the mesh option. Your sample is ready to go to the next part, the casting environment. Wait for our next video.